I'm going to show you how to trim uh, the lid and uh, the bottom of your pot, your lidded pot. So first thing when you're trimming, I'm going to start with the base of the lidded pot and just get it centered on the wheel, eyeballed first using the little uh, circular guidelines on the wheel head. When I think I have it uh, in the center, make sure you have your non-dominant hand, so for me that's my left hand, just on top so that once you turn the wheel on, yeah, it won't fly off or move around. You could use a pin tool, get your wheel spinning nice and slow, and just gently place the pin tool on top. Um, and that will tell you the center of the wheel. So this looks really centered to me because it's nice and even um, all the way around. Another technique you could use if you didn't want to rely on the pin tool is just very stilly uh, have your finger beside your piece and feel if it goes nice and evenly all the way around. And mine seems to be doing that. If it were uncentered, my finger would be moving back and forth. So this is, this is perfect. Next thing that you're going to do is like build that little nest just so that your piece doesn't move around as you're trimming. So always hold the top so it doesn't move and then press down on your clay to build that little nest. So the next thing um, I'm going to do is flatten out the bottom and blend in the sides. I, I like to use the, the bigger loop tool to do that. My arms are always tucked nice and tight into my body, left hand or non-dominant hand, lightly on top so that the piece can move um, but not fly off. I'm going to trim at about a medium, medium fast speed and I'm just going to slowly bring my loop tool towards the edge of my piece. The key to this, the key to good trimming, is to keep your tool as still as possible. That's why it's always good to have your arms nice and tight into, you, into your, the side of your body. So I've removed that excess clay around the sides. Now I'm just going to do it from the top, or the bottom I guess, upside down, um, just to flatten it out. The next thing I want to do is to create the foot. So I want the pot to sit on the edge around um, the outside of the piece. So I'm going to use this tool and go in um, just parallel to where the pot is and build that foot. Again, keeping your arms nice and tight to your body. Um, and your tool steady. Got a lot of excess here, so I'm just going to kind of blend that into the shape that I'm looking for. So I have the foot um, created around the outside. The next step I'm going to do is to carve out the center space. Um, and this is just so that uh, the piece doesn't high center and, and has a really nice weight. So in order for the piece to feel light and, and nice and light, um, you want to have nice even wall thicknesses. So I'm going to try and get rid of any excess clay to even out those wall thicknesses. So I'm going to have more clay over here so I can go a little bit deeper towards the edge and I want to remove less in the center where it's going to be um, a little bit thinner. Something just like that is uh, all you need to do. I'm going to write my name on the bottom now. And this 
piece is done trimming. So there's no difference between trimming your base pot um, and trimming any other pot. Um, the difference now is how to trim the lid. So now that we have our base pot done, it's got good nice weight, uh, I will begin to trim the lid. So the lid is a little bit different. Rather than building a nest around the lid, uh, what you're going to need to do is use kind of a ball or a little loop of clay inside the lid, so just inside here. It needs to be thick enough that it's going to be um, thicker than the gallery that you made so that you're not going to be pressing down on the gallery. But it doesn't ha have to be so thick that it's standing way up off the wheel. So I'm just kind of forming this clay into a ball that I'm going to place inside the lid. That's perfect. So the next step will be to center this lid onto the wheel. So again, I just do it uh, eyeball first by sight. When I think I have it good, I'll test it, just like I was testing the bottom of the pot. And that looks to be a little bit off. I'm going to double check by testing um, the edge here. And you can see that it hits my finger and then there's a gap. Hits my finger and then there's a gap. So where there is that gap, that's where we need to slide it over. So we're going to stick with that. So once you have it about even, just push straight down. You don't want to move it off center at this point, but you want to give it a nice grip on the wheel. So you'll just push straight down. Before I start trimming, I'm just going to double check that it's, it stayed center. And it is still a little bit off. So I'm going to push it over slightly. Trimming the lid is a little more finicky than trimming the body because it's, it has a greater tendency to slide. All right, so I think that's about good. Um, I'm going to start by just trimming off this excess stuff on the top. Again, medium fast. I'm using the bigger trimming tool um, and always pressing down so that your piece doesn't fly off. So it's not as attached as it normally is, so you have to make sure you're pressing down on the lid as, it's, um, as you're trimming. So you're just going to trim in the shape that you like for the top of your lid. I think I want a fairly flat lid with a nice curve on the edge. So that's what I'm going to do. Just to finish off the shape, you could use a damp sponge. And that will just smooth it out. All right. So this could be finished and you could um, you could hand build a lid or a handle sorry onto the top of this lid if you want to throw a handle onto the top of your lid that's also possible so I'm going to show you how to uh, throw a handle onto this lid um, if, if you just want to hand build one you could be done and, and go work on the hand building part if you want to throw a handle onto the lid then continue watching so I just marked uh, off the center of the lid using a pin tool. I'm going to score this part and then I'm going to add a little slip on that area. Let's roll out a cylinder of clay just in my hands like a little coil. Um, you don't need too much for this. So I'm just going to kind of form it, shape it into my, in my fingers getting a little cylinder. This is going to be a uh, handle. Again, score and slip this piece that you're going to be attaching to the lid. And 
and press it down as close as you can into the center of the lid. With as little water as possible, you're going to need to center that little cylinder of clay onto the lid. So you won't do it the same way that you center a big mound of clay. Um, you'll want to just use the tips of your finger. So where normally you would go like this with the side of your hand and the side of your hand, you're going to do the same thing but with the sides of your fingers. So uh, right hand, if you're, that's your dominant hand on the top, and left hand, your, those fingers pressing onto the side. Uh, try and use as little water as possible uh, because you don't want the lid to get wet as really you just want the little center of clay to get wet. Um, and you probably won't be able to center on high speed for this piece because the lid is not super super secure to the um, or the sorry the, the lid yeah the lid is not super super secured to the wheel head um, so you don't want anything to go flying off. I'm starting to bring it in at the bottom just to create my lid shape and I might just begin to open this up create a nice wide lid whatever lid shape you or sorry handle shape you want it's totally up to you just be creative So I'm pretty happy with that shape. I'm just going to sponge it off. And then there is a handle onto the top of your lid. So clean, dry hands. Lift that lid straight up off of that mound of clay. And you can just place it onto the pot. There's the finished product.